Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of a great millstone, and Shalom to the elect. This is 1 Samuel chapter 23, verse 16. And Jonathan saw son arose and went to David into the wood and strengthened his hand in God. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel. And I shall be next, and that also Saul my father knoweth. Right, and um, you know, that's basically why this devil Esau Edom, all right, these elites hate us because they know that we're going to be next up to rule, and they hate that, they fear that, you know, and um, they hate the fact that the Lord could possibly be with us, you know, just as King Saul, you know, he, didn't, he wasn't willing to give up his spot. You know, he hated the fact that the Lord could possibly be, or he knew, he hated the fact that the Lord was with King David. You know, he was jealous of King David, for lack of better, you know, in other words. He was jealous of King David. All right. It all started with, um, you know, when the women were singing, you know, King David had slain ten thousands and King Saul had slain a thousands. You know, which goes to show you, too, that normally... Um, the king would go out with his men to war And also goes to show you that He was Normally the king was the most um, Profound At warfare Nevertheless this was a different story Okay And um All the times That King David Or all the times that King Yeah King David Escaped from King Saul was of course through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and um, him using wisdom. As it is also written, how King David behaved himself wisely. You know, and this was one thing that uh, King Saul loved about him. All right, around that same verse, I want to say it's 1 Samuel 20. Brothers could, you know, check that out. It speaks about how the Lord was with King David. You know, and the Lord is going to be with us. And that's ample precepts throughout the Bible like for example in um, Daniel's the book of Daniel's when it was a decree to kill all the wise men okay out of Babylon because they couldn't interpret Nebuchadnezzar's dream and then through the wisdom that the Lord gave Daniel he was able to interpret uh, Nebuchadnezzar's dream in which case you know King uh, Nebuchadnezzar uh, Loved him for that You know So through the Lord's wisdom Is how we get out of st uh, Situations Okay And um, You know Also proving that he's going to step in As he has stepped in now You know through giving us the Rakakwadash Alright Pulling us out of the, the darkness that this world upholds, he's also going to step in, you know, in that day, all right, in the day of Jacob's trouble, all right. So now I want to jump down to verse 26, first Samuel 23 and 26. And Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain, and David. It's locked. Let me see if I could, uh, yeah, I'll do that. And Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain, and David made haste to get away for fear of Saul, for Saul and his men compassed. It's locked. And Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain, and David made haste to get away for fear of Saul, for Saul and his men compassed David and his men round about to take them. But there came a messenger unto Saul, saying, Haste thee, and come, for the Philistines have invaded the land. And Saul went on this side of the mountain, and... Wherefore Saul returned from pursuing after David, and went against the Philistines, therefore they called that place Salah Malagath. Wherefore Saul returned from pursuing... Right, so as you know, as we we uh, read and we can hear, you know.
know, that that was a, uh, David was in a very, you know, serious situation, you know, as, um, you know, this guy said in the world, which is a very potent, uh, point, he said, you don't know, you don't know paranoia till somebody got the drop on you, basically meaning that when your enemy is closing out on you, that's when that fear kicks up. You know, case in point is Yahweh Shad in the Garden of Gethsemane, all right, which the word Gethsemane and it's, uh, means um, oil, oil pressed. You know, Yahweh Shad was that oil being pressed in the spirit, you know, and um, our oil is going to be pressed in the spirit, all right? Our belief, you know, and everything we stand for is going to be pressed. You know, in, in, in these times to come. You know, when Esau paints us out as the terrorists, all right, the reason why this, uh, you know, whole uh, pandemic situation is continuing, the reason why deaths are continuing, you know, all of all the wrong with this world, Esau's gonna put it on us. And these people, which are under the spell of this devil, is gonna eat it up, okay? So, same with King David as we're reading to where he was on one side of the mountain, all right, and King Saul was on the other. King Saul was closing out on him. So, as you read it, you think of in your head, as the Apostle Gabar always says, we think in pictures how, you know, imagine he wasn't walking, you know, he wasn't, on, he wasn't out on a Sunday stroll. He was moving, him and his men, you know, he was moving, trying to get away from Saul. All right, but the spirit, you know, had a messenger come to, to Saul, you know, and, um, you know, he had to tend to other business. All right, going into the precept, as I mentioned, Isaiah 59 and 19, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard, okay, a way to escape. All right, so for those that, that that's our lot, you know, that'll be the case. You know, that'd be one way we escape, which there's many ways the Lord is going to allow us to escape. All right. Spiritual powers. As the scriptures say. In uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3. In the day of their visitation. You know, they shall. Uh, they shall be as sparks among the stubble. You know, meaning we're going to be un untamable. Right burn style. You know. But, um. You know, it reminds me of, uh, it was a lesson a brother did a while back. How he was saying how Jacob's trouble was not going to be a walk in the park. And he was going into a dream he had to where there was various um, extreme situations where the Lord nevertheless got him out of. But it was very scary, man. You know, and it was at the very end where it seemed like he was going to get trapped up. You know, maybe, uh... You know, Esau and his army was coming down the hallway. He was trapped in a room, you know, and his spirit had him, um, you know, uh, 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 dematerialized, something like that. It was, it was scenarios like that in a brother's dream. You know, that'll happen too. Um, dang, I just missed the point. The point I was going to make. Well, it was another point I wanted to make, but I just forgot it that quickly. You know, but um, that was pretty much the point of how you, how about Shimmy, how shy. It's going to allow us to escape. Okay. Um, the book of Psalms 34. Alright. Speaks about how. The book of Psalms 34. And I want to say 19. Says that. Um, there be many of. Psalms 34 and 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivers them out of them all, you know, and it leads me to my next point of something I was thinking about of how we really got to read these stories, 
because it's one thing to you know read Proverbs, read Ecclesiastes, read Ecclesiasticus. All right, but it's another thing to um, couple them with stories. All right, actually in the prologue of Sirach, it speaks about how um, these stories is what led him to you know write a book of wisdom himself. Okay, that's the understanding to the wisdom as as it is written. You know, with all that getting, get understanding. That's the understanding to the wisdom. All right, that's the glue to the wisdom. Okay. And um, we, we, we clearly see that the Lord is with us now, you know, as he's bringing his devils down. Um, World War III ramping up, his enemies ramping up against him. All right. But we're going to continue to see up close and personal, you know, in that day, you know, in these, in these times to come. You know, so with that, Lord, whether you are you edified, shalom to the elect.